Good evening. My name is Jamil Ahmad, and I'm running for Congress in the 1st Congressional District. I'm running because I believe that military aid to Israel violates our Constitution's separation of church and state. Israel is a country that discriminates against people based on their religion. Representative Bonamici has voted for multiple bills which characterize Israel as a religious state, yet she has also voted for over $52 billion of military aid to Israel. Most recently, she's voted for, 25 days ago, a standalone $14 billion military aid package to Israel. We cannot trust individuals which fund inequality abroad to deliver equality at home. Inequality kills both abroad and at home. For example, Alton Sterling was killed in Baton Rouge by police officers as he was selling counterfeit CDs outside of a convenience store. Alton and I both were born and raised in Baton Rouge. We were the same age. Why is it that he made a living by selling counterfeit CDs while I made a living working in the semiconductor industry? Part of the answer is inequality. It's within the role of government to address inequality. Federal funds for K through 12, higher education and other programs must be contingent on closing inequalities. Metrics must be created for equality, targets must be set, and funding recipients must be required to meet them. This is a difficult task, but I believe it can be done. I believe because I used to live in Georgia's 5th Congressional District, and there's a ballot that I cast that I'll never forget. On the upper right was John Lewis, on the upper left was Barack Obama. Rather somebody who was beaten in Selma, Alabama was lived to be on the same ballot as the first minority president. And I believe that if we can do that, we can do anything. Thank you.